Today's my first day of school and my last semester at community college since I'll be transferring to university in January. Also forgive me if you hear like pots and pans and like really loud background noises. I live in a Mexican household, okay? There's never a time where it's not loud or there's background noise. So <laughs> just telling you guys. Although I do my schooling at home, which is remote learning, I still want to look good and look presentable because like it's the first day and I just want to be in my PJs all day so I want to show you like just a simple outfit I would just wear today. So this is what I'm wearing right now, this is what I usually wear to go to sleep and since it's the first day I want to wear something like comforting but also like nicely fitted. So I just have my denim jeans and a simple tight black tee just for today just for it to be comfortable. So I've just changed, just a simple black tee, nothing much, and just some denim jeans. That's mostly it. classes I'm just taking two intro to psychology and a lab course that I needed to graduate and mostly they were just syllabuses and get to know about the professor and most of it's just note taking and just discussion prompts about like introducing yourself to the course and just talk to your classmate which went really well and I'm very excited to take these courses and to graduate so woo so I'm a different scenery right now I'm here with my bookshelves and I wanted to do what's in my school bag if I went to school in person instead of remote. Here's my school bag. It's very cute. It's the Emily and Strange character and she's glittery. And I found this on Depop like two years ago and it's just very cute and big. So you put all your stuff in. So this is my school bag. It's very cute. Ah! I use paper binders personally because they're smaller and convenient. And with those big plastic binders, they tend to break but they take a lot of space and paper binders do not and you can color code and get different colors for your subjects and all around they're just so accessible you can find these at 99 cent store walmart target and they vary from 50 to 90 cents and they're so reusable and like eco-friendly and i recommend getting paper binders than those big chunky plastic ones in my opinion if you're someone that takes math or research or a class that involves a lot of writing i personally recommend the campus a4 notebooks because they're so big. Look at, they're bigger than my head and I have a big head. These are for all the people who write hard and write with pens and markers and highlighters and they bleed through. These do not. When I tell you these are thick, they are very thick and sufficient. So I recommend these for anyone who writes hard or writes a lot and they're so comfy. If you're taking classes that don't require a lot of writing but you do have to write some things, I recommend getting the B5 reusable notebook from campus and again eco-friendly you could add more pages and it's just so cute and color coding for your courses that's what i use these for or if you don't like reusable you can get the campus a7 notebooks and these work very well again the paper quality is thick and also you can write a lot so this is what i use for my courses i'm actually using this one for my psychology class intro to psychology and I decided I don't write a lot, but I do have to write some things. So I use these notebooks for this. And I use my pencil case, here it is. I don't necessarily use a lot of things. I just use paper made pencils and zebra midliners. The reason why is because with paper made pencils, they're very thick. And as someone who has a tight grip, I like these and they have a little rubbery so your hand doesn't hurt. Cause when you use the smaller pencils, it's like kind of slippery and like there's no grip and your fingers start hurting like your thumb starts hurting no so i recommend the paper mates you can find these at walmart for a pack of two for five dollars 
You can use any highlighters to work, but I just get the Zebra Mid Liners. I got these for a pack of five for $10 at Walmart. And again, they're double-sided and very cute, so I use for my assignments. A black pen for note-taking and a red pen for correcting stuff. As someone who forgets and has a pea-sized brain, I use a bullet journal to write all my assignments and appointments because I tend to think that I can remember anything with my brain, but I forget everything, okay? If you're like me, please get a bullet journal or even notepad and write down your due dates because we will not remember, okay? <laughs> I got this at Daiso for literally $4 and it's very cute and yes, I am an XOL. I don't know, like, I don't know, can you tell? Like, I don't know. So yeah, if you have a pea-sized brain and you tend to forget, please use these. Also, you don't have to make it aesthetically pleasing for a notebook or a bullet journal. Personally, for me, I just write the date mm -hmm. and the week and I use it like this. Sometimes if I'm feeling artsy, I will do the whole bullet spread, but this is rarely. So this is my main bullet spread and just cute. And then I just write again the date for the week and the homework assignments, and I cross it out. I don't do habit trackers or mood trackers, but if you do that, bomb well, means more power to you. I just will forget. <laughs> One thing I also have is journals. I think it's very important to journal how you're feeling and how, if you're upset or how your day went, it's very important to get those things out. I started my journaling when the COVID happened, like the height of it, oof. So I was writing my feelings out and decorating. A lot of college students prioritize their grades over their mental health, and I don't personally agree with that. You can have your grades be well and also take care of your mental health. There is a way. So if you're someone who's like upset or stressed about an assignment, please write about it. I got these at Daiso for $2. And yeah, so my first one from the pandemic, I wrote a lot. And then this is my second one that I really started. It has my initials. So yes, I recommend journaling how you feel. Please do so. Another thing in my bag would be EpiPens. These are life-saving. As someone who has a lot of allergies and has anaphylaxis, if I eat certain things, these will save your life. Please get EpiPens. So yeah, I don't leave anywhere without these. Sometimes I don't feel like writing down a piece of paper, so I'll just use my iPad mini. And it's in this little cute composition notebook that I got from Amazon. And I write my assignments down on here on my cute iPad mini and I use an iPad pencil with the cute carrot top that everyone else uses. I use this for grades and reading a lot of assignments since I'm in college. I have to read a lot of articles, especially my major and doing research. So this helps me a lot. So I recommend getting yourself an iPad. It doesn't have to be an iPad or a tablet or a Samsung, anything. It will help you, trust me. And these are all the things that I would take with me if I went to campus in person instead of remote. So yeah.